Hey all, doing another in-depth property tour today at our newest listing, 5569 Yucca Lane in Plymouth, Minnesota. So if you're kind of wondering what you can get in Minnesota for under 400000 this is going to be a great option for you. Listed at three ninety nine right now. It's a three bed, three bath, two stall uh, townhome. And here, pretty traditional townhome here. It's in the middle here. It's not an end unit, but you can see kind of behind me, nothing's being developed here. Highway there, it's sound barrier. Uh, so super close, super conveniently located. You're going to see a couple of trails in this area too. Association maintained. So super nice to see that. And we'll uh, start off right at the entryway here. All right. So as soon as you walk in, you have steps right here and hallway off to your left through the rest of the property. Uh, first things first, right away, you have some vinyl plank flooring here, which is in really great shape. This is built in 2017. So after seven years of wear and tear, both the carpet and the floors are still in great shape, which is fantastic, which is exactly what we want to see. That uh, means they use good quality materials right from the start. Uh, straight off to our back, to our left here is a powder room. Pretty standard here, nothing too crazy. Again, flooring looks good, no signs of moisture or leaking or anything there. Uh, you can definitely see it's been used a little bit. Might want to update that eventually here, but everything's still on point. Nothing too crazy to worry about. As you walk through everything else here, uh, you're greeted right away in your kitchen. And you got stone countertops, which are also in great shape. Uh, you can see some discoloration here. This might just need to get cleaned up. Um, or it could have been a sign of like a previous leak or some salt from a water softener, some hard water. Wow, we are in Plymouth. Plymouth is known for a little bit harder water, Plymouth and Maple Grove. So we'll check and see if they have a water softener as we're coming through here. Since it's only seven years old, it's safe to assume all the appliances are the original appliances. So uh, again, about seven years old there. I look great. It's a matching Whirlpool set. Nothing too crazy there. We do have a farmhouse kitchen sink. Kind of take a look underneath everything, make sure there's no signs of water damage or leaking, and everything looks pretty good here. Uh, you can see they have some tape on the drain right there, so you'd want to take a closer look at that. It looks like that top part may have been uh, redone. It might be a new garbage disposal and then the original kind of drain there. So we want to take a closer look at that with the inspection. You can see nice open concept. Uh, newer light fixtures, too. I really like that. We have this closet right here, which is going to be your utility room. And everything's probably going to be 07. It is an electric water heater here. Can't quite get around to see what year it is. It looks like it's in pretty good shape overall, though. Water softener tucked in the back there. And we have our salt bin, which does have salt in it. So it means they're using it. And then you do have a humidifier here, which is nice. And an air-to-air -air exchanger right here. Uh, so the air-to-air -air exchanger is really good in Minnesota as you kind of get stale air in the winter because we can't open our windows because it's cold out. So that's going to bring air in, filter it, push it through. Uh, you'll get better air within your, your house as well as less strenuous on the furnace and whatnot. And now we kind of go into the main living room area here. Everything's looking great. Carpet's looking in great shape. This area right here is a good area to keep an eye on. It gets a lot of wear and tear at that transition. A lot of times that area just gets really beat up, um, and you don't see that in this property, which is nice. And then you have a nice big dining room area here, uh, which is great for townhomes. A lot of times you don't get much of a spot for a dining room. Uh, this one has pretty adequate size and a lot of countertop space in your kitchen. Uh, again, if you're looking at townhomes, countertop space can kind of be an issue. You have a big center island here as well as a nice area off the side here as well. And we go off back here to the garage. You have uh, two closets here, which is nice. Townhomes, again, hard from a storage standpoint. So it's nice to see that there's a double closet here when you first walk in. And then you have your garage, which you know, the sellers here is storage for most of their stuff. So nothing too exciting to see here. Uh, we'll fit two cars and have some extra storage capacity on either side here as well. So. Uh, we'll take a jaunt upstairs real quick. As we head upstairs, we do have a turn coming up here and really popular. Again, this is 2017. So really anything after 2010, uh, they tried to incorporate lofted areas up here. This one has a really small loft. Some of the, uh, newer, bigger townhomes have a bigger area here, but this is a great spot, uh, for toys or a little office or, 
spot for dogs and whatnot. Um, so as soon as you pop upstairs, you have three bedrooms up, two off to your right with a bathroom. And you have a laundry room right here. And then you have the primary bedroom off to your left here. So personally, anytime you're upstairs, the bedroom's upstairs. I like having the primary off on its own, kind of off to the side. gives you some more privacy, a little more space between guest bedrooms or kids' bedrooms or your office. And a really spacious primary bedroom here. Um, looks like they got a king bed in here now with dressers and end tables. And it looks out over the front. So not too bad. You can see it's kind of melty day today here in Minnesota. And then well, the primary is definitely one of the selling features in this place. Uh, you have a massive closet, walk-in closet here. Great storage for this town home, which again, if you're looking at townhomes, typically not seeing a lot of, you see a whole bunch here. And then you also have just a very spacious primary bathroom here. You have the shower, nice size shower here. You have the double vanity sink. Everything's in great condition here. And then you have the uh, toilet room here as well. So very spacious all in all. A lot of room to move around. You're not going to be stepping over anybody. Uh, it does feel like tile floor as well. So a lot of these ones are going to get a vinyl tile in here. Um, this one does feel like a vinyl tile, but it's grouted. Probably going to last you a little bit longer. Hallway closet. Extra storage is always, always nice. And then we have laundry and the two beds up here. So they're being used as offices now. Could definitely use as your traditional bedroom. A little storage unit here, closet. Very good size on both of these. Carpet, again, in great condition here. No signs of excessive wear and tear. Anything falling apart. Both side, both bedrooms are about the same size. And you have the bathroom over here serving these two bedrooms. Again, great space here. Uh, nice vanity. Toilet's looking good. No signs of moisture. And just kind of your standard shower here with a tub surround. Very common at this price point in this era. And then you have your laundry here as well, serving the two bedrooms in the master in the primary up here. Um, looks like Samsung, pretty new, uh, probably the original 2017, but they were definitely higher end ones from there. Let's take a look outside. All right, so we'll slide off the back here. You have a Little patio here, kind of an eight by eight patio, just enough for table and four chairs. There is a walking path right behind here. Association maintained, so pretty private. Uh, very nice. You have a little pond in the back too. So uh, one of the things I really like this is you're just you're not like necessarily right on top of your neighbors. There's actually single family homes behind you, so it's not just a bunch of row of townhomes. Even when you look off to the right here, you have some privacy between you and the unit next to you. As well as the one to your left here, you have a privacy fence uh, to your left. So you actually get decent privacy here. Uh, back here, traffic noise is not too bad at all. We're actually pretty close to the highway here. So the fact that you can still come back here, enjoy it, uh, is a huge plus for this one. 